Hey guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to the tutorial. And if you're new, special welcome to you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Bluetooth headphones not showing up or just simply not working on your Windows 11 PC. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of things that you need to do to be able to fix this problem. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of troubleshooting steps that you need to do to be able to fix this. Taking in consideration that your Bluetooth headphones is not faulty and it's currently working right so what do we do the first thing we want to do is just simply right click on the windows icon on your taskbar and you want to go to settings now once you're inside settings click on the bluetooth and devices on the left hand side and you want to ensure that bluetooth is actually turned on so ensure that this is toggled on and you have the bluetooth turned on there and you will see if you have any devices that were already paired there or something like that if you have it there you can try to really connect it again now if you're not able to connect it guys now i want to recommend that you can easily go ahead and click and add so first whenever you click and add it's going to try to search for that device you want to select you want to click and add bluetooth device then click on bluetooth and it's going to try to search for that device now it's important that whenever you're scanning or adding that device, your Bluetooth headphones is turned on and it's also in pairing mode. So how that works is just normally you will have uh, either a button that shows you to pair it and this normally flashes in blue. So right, so I don't, it's normally flashes in blue. So once you press that button, it will be flash if it will be flashing in blue simply means that you'll be trying to pair with any other device which is also looking for bluetooth right so you'll be able to find it there you know once you find it there you'll be able to just simply select it and you know basically pair the devices now if this does not work i'm going to walk you through initial steps that you can take now what you want to do now guys is just simple right click again on the windows icon on your taskbar and this time you want to basically go to the device manager and once you're in, you want to look for Bluetooth in the list and click that little drop down here, that little arrow towards the right. It will do a drop down and you'll find your Bluetooth devices. Now you want to search for your Bluetooth device in the list. Now you basically want to look for your Bluetooth device in the list. So whatever headphones you have, you will find it in the list. And what I recommend that you do if you find that headphones in the list is just simply go ahead and for example, right click on it. Let's say this is my Bluetooth device or my headphones. And I would just simply choose to uninstall device. But don't worry, you uninstall it, and all you have to do afterwards is once it is uninstalled, it's gonna be removed, and you just need to come here and click on action, and you want to go ahead and say scan for hardware changes. It's gonna scan, and you will be able to see that it installed the device again. Sometimes it may require for you to just simply restart your PC, and once you do that, you'll be able to see that it installed. Now, right after the installation process is complete and you can find a device here, just right click on it. And this time you want to click an update driver and choose the option to search automatically. It's going to quickly search automatically the web for you. So you need an active internet connection as well. So you want to have it search automatically and it's going to try to locate the best driver for you to install it for that device. Now, once this is done, guys, go ahead and try to see if you can connect your Bluetooth device again. So you would go back and you will go back into the settings again and you know, follow the same process, Bluetooth devices and try to add that device. And you know, it will start to scan for that device. So ensure the Bluetooth device is also in pure mode. And so you'll try to see if it no works, if it fears, if it detect the device and so forth, right? Now, just in case this still doesn't work, you can try one more thing, right? You can just simply go ahead and click on the Windows key on your keyboard and this time type in services. You'll find services up here, here, and you want to open up the system services here. Now you'll find a bunch of different services and it's important for you to just look for the one that says Bluetooth. So you want to scroll all the way down, guys. What you want to do, you want to scroll down to the B section here of this and you want to look for the Bluetooth services. So scroll down until you find Bluetooth support service, this one here. You want to simply right click on it and you want to go into the properties. Now you will see that it shows up. You want to change the startup type from manual to automatic. So you want to select automatic and then click and apply. Just simply go ahead and just simply stop that service. And then once you stop it, you can go ahead and you can start it again, or you can just go ahead and just close off it, find the service, right click on it and do a quick restart of that service. And then you will follow the process again by going back to the devices, go to Bluetooth and try to see if you can search or scan for that device once more. 
And that's basically it guys. I hope one of these solutions will help you to fix that issue guys. But I wish you the best of luck. And I hope that you'll be able to connect to your Bluetooth headset or your Bluetooth headphones on your Windows 11 PC. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.